In this segment, I'm going to show you how to punch holes and set eyelets using our Making Memory tool. Okay, I'm going to show you today how to punch a hole and set an eyelet using our hole punch and our setting tool. Our hole punch comes with three different size tips for the different size eyelets that you can buy. Today, I'm going to use the middle size tip and it just screws right into the hole punch tool. And then you're going to make sure you always punch your holes and set your eyelets on a self-healing mat. I'm just going to set the tool where I want to punch my hole and I just gently tap with the hammer and it makes your hole. Then to set your eyelet, I like to take the eyelet and place it upside down on the mat. So the shaft, the back shaft of the eyelet is facing up and then you're going to take the paper that you're working on and flip it upside down over the shaft of the eyelet. And then you take the eyelet setter and you can see there's kind of a little flower shape in the center and you're going to make sure this little point in the end of the setter goes directly in the center of the back of the eyelet. And you can fill when it's in there and it's in the right place. And again, a quick tap or two will flatten the back of your eyelet and then if you turn your project over, your eyelet is set. Now I'm going to set one of our snaps using the instant setter. The instant setter is pretty much the same as our regular hole punch and setter, however it's magnetized. So it comes with the three tips again, the small, medium, and large. I'm going to choose the medium size for the snap that I'm going to use and it just slips right in. Then you're just going to lay it on your paper where you want to punch your hole and you just push down on the handle and your hole goes right through your paper. Now if you have a thicker piece of paper, maybe a cardstock or a bigger eyelet and you need to adjust the tension, the handle actually, there's a plus and a minus on the handle. You can increase it or decrease the pressure or the tension as needed. Then I'm going to take my snap, just like the eyelet, I like to place it on the self-healing mat upside down so the back of the shaft of the eyelet is facing up and then I'll place my pro the hole that I punched right over the shaft of the eyelet. And again, I'm just going to slip that tip out and then I'm going to put the medium size tip of the setter into the instant setter. Again, it has the little flower pattern on the back. You want to make sure the very center tip goes into the center of the back of the snap. And then I'm going to increase the pressure just a little bit and push down. And sometimes you have to push twice to punch your hole or to flatten the back of the eyelet and that's okay as well. And if it doesn't go as flat as you'd like, just a quick tap with the hammer makes it a little bit flatter for your page as well. And now I have set a couple of snaps and an eyelet in that page using our instant setter and our eyelet hole punch and setter with the hammer as well. Now I'll show you some samples of different ways that we've used these tools. In this project, I used the large instant setter to punch large holes all the way across my paper and then I just threaded the ribbon in and out to add that embellishment to that page. For this sample, I used some brads, but I used the smaller hole punch to punch holes for the brads to go through. In this project, you can see there's a background pattern, and so I wanted to use the different color eyelets for the center of the flowers. And then in this sample, I just spaced around the circle of the photograph and punched my holes and set the different flowered snaps around the circle of the photo for that. And then for this project, I also used the large hole punch to punch the holes on each corner of the pages and then I just threaded the ribbon right through the holes to tie the project together.